Hello, it's Emily. So yesterday I was at work and I got the news that my aunt Norma has uh, four stage ovarian cancer. Um, she has lupus and I have autoimmune disease problems also. And a lot of women aren't really big on getting pap smears, but since I've worked in healthcare services, I used to be a caregiver for more than over a year. I worked during the pandemic as a caregiver for a long time. I made about $18 an hour, was working my way up. I worked for guys about six feet tall, really tall guys that were um, once an alcoholic, emptying their urinals and um, dealing with uh, multiple sclerosis and different problems like uh, Parkinson's and all that. So I had to do a lot of feeding. And I really hustled when I worked for um, the agencies and also I worked for facilities for a while. Um, when I worked, I worked a lot. Like I just come hustling. I come getting people requesting me and wanting me even to go bring grocery shopping during the pandemic because there's a there was a huge need and want for that. Um, I, I was working so hard, it was just too much on my back and my body, and I have autoimmune disease problems also, and eventually I just quit that job. It was just not gonna work out anymore. Um, I don't really drink a lot of alcohol anymore. That's a big factor, I know that. Um, Norma works for, at a winery, um, but she also has lupus, has autoimmune disease problems, so, she had to really be careful with her diet and eating whatever she wants. Um, I know that she's Mexican and spicy food is very popular. You know, like uh, chili Rolanos, we have that during Christmas and all that. And those things, we got ulcers to the stomach. It's really serious. When you look for a doctor, you can always look for a primary female doctor online. You can choose one. It's not like you're obligated to be with, like, a male doctor if you don't feel comfortable getting a pap smear. One of my sister's doesn't ever want to get one done and she's over her age she's in her like 40s and it's important to get it done I'm in my 30s and it's important to get that done I usually you know every few years you should um it's better than having four stage cancer she's feeling sick and she always has sickness problems and she probably thought it was her lupus but later on it backfired when she found out she has four stage ovarian cancer. She has kids already. She's older in her 60s. I and mean, it could be fatal if you won't watch out. Um, I uh, used to be a drinker. Not really anymore. Uh, I was close to an alcoholic friend. I'd always buy her alcohol for several years. I bought her drinks always. The relationship was ongoing like that. People would complain that, you know, if you want to go to your boyfriend for that, do it. But don't ask your girlfriends for that. She, uh... Eventually started getting really really deep into a cult like she started like acting like a guy like she's all like She plays it out Like a man, you know, she had like the knuckle tattoos and was a uh, real like Tries to be like a guy kind of a thing bisexual we had like a We went to bed last time and I was drunk and she was trying to make passes at me. I was wasted I was drinking so much beer, it was ridiculous with hard liquor. I, I was feeling my heart was ready to pound out of my chest. I felt like I was ready to die. Um, it was like the last time we hung out and she was with a girl, a swinger girl, and um, she wanted to go to bed together. And I told her, well, you know, we're friends. You know, Richard, I don't want to do that. I, you know, I'm, I'm with, the, you know, I like men, you know, but she, you know, I always had to remind her of that because she just always gets so wasted that she just end up a kook. I drink my cock and bull, by the way. <laughs> I like the cock and bull ginger ale. Um, like, she had a uh, side to her that was extremely deviant. Like, um, I was going to put this way, all female covens are the worst because there's a lot of feminine energy there. When it comes to a male there, he kind of balances things out better. I've met girls where they went with a guy for a while, they're bisexual, and... They had a kid with them, and then they just took off with a kid. I've seen it more than once, and they're like, you know, try to be the in-between. And they play it off real hard. They try to play it off real hard because they want to prove themselves to be like a guy. Um, it's a different kind of a group, not like the Freemasons. Like, you know, my Aunt Norma's married to my uncle, the Freemason. He's more of a top 
war guy, I would say. I would start to be a warlock. Um, a different kind of sect of a cult, but um, they're different the way they play it off. But these are more like hood rat, wants to be a madam kind of girl. Uh, you know, street, lots of tattoos, tough. Um, tries to play it off all hard. She wanted to start, like, a cult group. She was telling me about... She had all these ideas, like... She was definitely street, but sweet in a way. Uh, like, had her in between there, that... And that's even more terrifying, because the guys, they have, like, a lot of times more self-control with girls, and they're trying to so hard on that, they could end up really going way too far. And she did, and she scared off a lot of people. We'd go out to, like bars and places and there'll be girls there who were like her but they were afraid of her they just looked at her like she was a freak they didn't know what to think of her really so um yeah uh I went to Target yesterday and I saw the whole thing like it's pride time so um yeah uh get a pap smear it's I would recommend it I've got it done it's not so terrifying I've gone through more terrifying things